Hi, welcome to my video. This is the about the Vauxhall Viva Easy Tronic 1 litre and the colour is limelight green. Thank you for watching. Hi, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be showing you the Vauxhall Viva SI Easy Tronic. As you can see, there's plenty of room in front we have the optional extra of the seven seven inch screen which is the interlink so screen. in general this is a 66 plate have had it now since february um i'll show, show you around some of the basics and then we'll go through the other things that are on the car as standard on this car you have the air conditioning you have the automatic um heating system that you get with this car you also, also get with standard is the cruise control you also get the bluetooth connecting to your phone and the radio system and then on down here we have the city button which makes the steering better and which turns off this button turns off the abs the only thing you don't get the, with this car is the automatic warning line departure which some of the Vauxhall Viva as I said do. with this car this is the Viva Easy Tronic now Easy Tronic is the semi-automatic so if I just take you down to the gear stick as you can see it's a gear stick mode it's uh, an automatic mode and a manual mode so basically when you're driving it you flick it over to drive and reverse mm. and down if you want to go into manual mode you flick it back over and then as you're changing gears you just push the gears up and like that you don't need to come down because the car will do it for you yourself so all you do is change but i hope stick it in automatic mode it's easy to drive and it's simple so as i was saying on this car i paid the extra for the seven inch interlink screen so to turn it on oh sorry about that so you got all your so if we go to the home button so there's your home button you've got your audio which is a dab radio which is brilliant you can plug your own phone in for your own songs but i prefer the um station so you got all the other stations that you've got planet rock and things like that so we go back to the home screen you got your gallery where you can put phone uh, pictures from your phone but we'll show you later how to do this you got your phone button which is automatically it like Bluetooth goes to your phone. Go back at yeah, you got your settings. So you got all your settings there for the car. You've also got your on star button, which is uh, mo mobile Wi Fi, which is also on the screen here. And we also have a button which is SOS. So if you break down, you press this button and you can talk to the operator and things like that. So, as again, I said just all your money all your buttons are on there you've also also uh, if you go down to the bottom if you can see you have a USB cable link and the cigarette link now with the screen on top if you plug in the phone I'll show you on my phone you have to download this app onto your phone uh, where is it which is the Android app phone and what happens there is if i connect my phone to the internet to the switch over and then what happens then it takes all the data from your phone so when you can actually then use your google maps that's on your phone onto the screen and you just type in exactly the way you want to type as normal so you just press there's the android button come up so you just press that, go back. There did you let me yeah maps which will direct directed anywhere you want and then press that which is your home button and it'll show you any calls that have come through. Oh yeah, that's uh, and also if you've got any messages on your phone you can press the button on the steering wheel which is there ask it to do any messages and it will read the messages out to you you can actually type talk a message and it will send it as well so just like siri really it is 
So the other feature is, is this gallery. Now you can't play movies on your phone. So what you need is a US, USB um, stick. And what you do then is you download from your uh, laptop onto the USB and then you plug it in to the bottom here. When I get it in, that's it. And then as you can see, it goes to media. So you go onto videos, you beat that one. And this is what I've just been starting watching. And it's great, great picture. Comes to your speakers on the car. This is one of the be benefits of this. The only thing is you can't do it while you're driving. Obviously for safety reasons and things like that. But it's a good little thing if you're stuck. Stuck in a traffic jam. But I bet you can fast forward to whatever you want. And then fit the screen. So So there you go. There you go. That's that's the movie side of it. Watch any movie. You can actually watch pictures. But I've got no pictures on there at the moment. Um also give us so as I said it's got your clock, your usual features, your temperature and your date and things like that. Uh, as I was saying it is the easy tronic. Now there is one of the I find one of the cons about this car is it's it's a it is a one litre engine. They only make this in a one litre engine. Now when you're in automatic mode it is a bit slow on the takeoff. But it's it does soon catch up, but that's the only con, uh, the only con I can see about this car. Everything else is great. There's plenty of room. If you, I mean, if you look in the back, plenty of room for three decent sized adults. Plenty of headroom on the top. I'm five five, and I've there's still loads of headroom. Everything with the car is great. But so that that's only seems to be my only con is the first gear in the automatic mode. Uh, right, also on this car you have running daylights on the front. You also have fog lights and another good safety feature on this one is when you're indicating the fog lights come on just to lighten up the side of the road a bit brighter, so which is another good feature to it. This car also comes with automatic front windows. Uh, in the back, uh, as in most fevers, uh, you have to pay extra for the um, automatic windows, but they're adequate. As this car do. also comes with a four speaker system which is two in two in the front you can't you can't really see them through, through the video and two on the top there is space to put them in the back but this car doesn't come equipped you can pay the option extra to get six speakers but i find the sound is plenty quality good quality for the four speakers also you have automatic mirrors for adjusting left and right and also you can lock the car also i've been told to tell you that this car has three cup holders two in the front one in the back as i've been told everyone loves a cup holder in the car but there you go oh it does come with as standard is the tinted windows sides and back which is a nice little feature okay the back room it seems to be adequate for the size car as you can see you can get loads of shopping in there we normally get about six good size as the bags in there also it has a spl split seat back back seat so you can either have the two seats down or the one seat down which makes plenty of room for where you're in the scrapyard or things like that and that's my video hope you enjoyed it see you soon bye <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dad, don't. <laughs> so, give you your clock. Oh. Sorry about that.